Hey, what is up everybody and welcome back to a brand new video today here on Codename Pizza and in today's video We're gonna be discussing some black ops 6 leaked easter egg information But don't worry. There's no specific easter egg steps that have leaked But we have got a massive piece of information that will make a lot of the community excited And we've also had a brand new easter egg get discovered on an older zombies game, too So we'll show that in this video as well So if that sounds interesting to you sit back relax and let's do this thing Also leave a like on the video to support the channel and click that subscribe Button. We're on the road to a million and it's real. Okay, so Black Ops 6 zombies And I think this is more referring to the map Terminus over Liberty Falls one of the most prolific leakers inside of our community His name is Alex. He's been leaking stuff for a very very long time and honestly He's really really good at it You know, there's a lot of people that don't like leakers and there's a lot of people that do like leakers but One thing I can say about this guy is that he knows his stuff There's not many times that this guy gets anything wrong. He put out a tweet yesterday saying I may have a cool leak for zombie players It seems like something is coming called Hardcore Quest. So Alex has gone inside of the game files of the Black Ops 6 beta and he's managed to find what's known as the Hardcore Quest inside of the Zombies script, which should be brilliant news for most of the Zombies community. Now obviously we do need to take this with a grain of salt. This might just be referring to the normal easter egg on Terminus, depending on what they are calling the guided mode that's coming to this game in the script as well. We know we're getting a guided mode around two to three weeks after the completion of the main easter egg quest on all maps throughout black ops 6 zombies where once we've discovered that easter egg quest normally inside of the game two to three weeks later we're gonna have this guided mode where new players can jump on the game and get handheld all the way through the main easter egg it is noted that with this guided mode all side easter eggs are turned off so this will only be useful for people to get good at the game to do the main easter egg quest and i think the theory behind this with treyarch for the next dlc those people will then be able to join in with the main easter Easter egg quest with the rest of the community. It seems like a great compromise instead of having these easy Easter egg quests that we had with Cold War zombies. You know, throughout zombies, we have had a lot of different styles of difficulties. A lot of people say that Black Ops 3 was probably the best, and I think that with Black Ops 4, it was just a push too far. It was basically impossible for new players to get involved with Black Ops 4 zombies Easter eggs because they were just really, really difficult. And Cold War was the complete opposite. They reverted back to some of the most easiest Easter egg mechanics ever. All the dialogue in the Easter eggs were tell you exactly what to do in the next step basically and they basically held your hand all the way through cold war so with black ops 6 treyarch have openly said that we're gonna have less of a handheld experience but all the easter egg quest steps on the game will be logical they made sure to tell us when we visited treyarch earlier this year every single easter egg step will be logical meaning that you should be able to work it out if you are good at zombies there's no hidden rocks like revelations but with this tweet and with this piece of script that's been found via Alex, it might suggest that we're getting even more than this. We might be getting a hardcore Easter egg quest that's even more difficult than the original version. And this sounds great. One of my favorite Easter egg systems ever in Zombies was only available on one map, which was, of course, the final Reich from World War II Zombies. The map itself is pretty good. You know what? Recently, I've been replaying World War II Zombies and I've got more of an appreciation for it now. I think a lot of people really dismissed it very early on. And quite honestly, Honestly, it might be down to the difficulty level. On solo, the game is relatively hard, but having the ability of a hardcore quest on top of the normal regular quest for more hardcore players is a genius idea. There's a reason why our community still exists, and that is down to hardcore players. You know, casual players come and go. When a new map releases, they might play the map a couple of times. They might even beat the Easter egg quest, but then they don't play in the off season. I think a lot of people on this channel, including myself, consider themselves as hardcore zombie players. People that play and re play these maps all the time and this then gives us something to do inside of this game on top of the regular easter eggs now i touched on it a little bit before saying that the side easter egg quests inside of black Ops six are not available inside of guided mode they also went on to say about these side easter egg quests when we were at treyarch saying that some of them are really really difficult so this is even more stuff for us hardcore community players to get into there's also a potential that this hardcore quest might end up being a super easter egg quest basically when we've had every DLC release for Black Ops 6, I would assume we know we're getting Terminus, Liberty Falls, and another DLC map before the end of 2024. So I would assume we have at least another three or four throughout the whole cycle of Black Ops 6. So maybe six, seven maps, maybe at a push. Once all of those have been released, once we've completed all the Easter egg quests on all of those maps, potentially a hardcore quest would then unlock that would allow us to then get a super Easter egg completion and give us some kind of crazy reward for completing all of those maps. And by far the best we 
we've ever seen with this, in my opinion, is IW Zombies with their director's cut and their Mephistopheles boss fight. So just to recap what this could potentially mean before we move on to our next topic, we've either got a hardcore quest, which is going to be an additional quest on top of the main Easter egg quest on Terminus. This string of code could just mean the normal Easter egg quest that's different to the guided mode that we're going to be getting, or this could be talking about a super Easter egg quest that we have inside of the game. Either way, two of those things are additional content, and one is already what we were going to get anyway. So this string of code is a win in general. Side note here, Alex also did tweet out a day before saying that we are going to be getting a side quest inside of Terminus where we can receive the Wonder Weapon as the Easter egg reward. I think at this point, everyone kind of understands that there will be ways of getting Wonder Weapons, not just from the mystery box. Some of the worst mechanics in Zombies history, in my opinion, is only being able to get a Wonder Weapon from a mystery box. There should always be a quest to either make or find the Wonder Weapon inside of the map. So moving on to our next piece of information for this video, a brand new Easter egg has been discovered, or at least the potential start of a new Easter egg has been discovered. And now we need a community effort to push and find this. And this is actually inside of the code of the game, and it's called the Tower Defense Easter egg. And this takes place on the final DLC map of World War II Zombies, which is called the Frozen Dawn. This Easter egg was discovered by a guy called Pizza Yum Yum, and it was brought to my attention by Absalom, who made a video on it. And for this, you need to have a rocket launcher. There's three rocket launchers inside of the game, and as long as you've got one of them, you're able to then do this Easter egg step. And all it is, is that you fire the rockets at the towers at the back of the map, and then they will then fire rockets back at you. And the fact that it's found inside of the code called the Tower Defense Easter egg, it suggests that there's way more to this Easter egg than we currently know. Potentially, you have to kill zombies with this returning rocket. Potentially, you need to do this at a specific point in the Easter egg quest. I don't know, but there does now need to be a community effort to jump on this thing and try and figure it out. It does need to be noted right now that World War II Zombies still holds an incredible amount of unsolved Easter eggs. So if you want something to do, something to use your mind for over the next six weeks before the release of Black Ops 6, jump on World War II Zombies and discover some Easter eggs, including this brand new one, the Tower Defense Step. And right before I was posting this video, there has been another brand new Easter egg that has just been solved. And believe it or not, it's on the exact same map. And this is the grenade cluster Easter egg. This thing is just weird. You need to make sure that you have got grenades active inside of your game. And then you go and make your way over to this part of the map right here where there is no roof. You throw a grenade through the opening of the ceiling and then you get bombarded with a ridiculous amount of grenades back to you. Literally makes absolutely no sense. But there you go, another brand new Easter egg that's just been sold on the Frozen Dawn and World War II Zombies. But there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. If you did, please make sure you leave a like on the video and make sure you subscribe to the channel to become the latest member of the Pizza Club. We are on the road to a million subscribers and I'd appreciate you guys to click that sub button. But there you go. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video or the next live stream. Thank you very much for watching and peace out.